As life is getting back to a new normal, we're happy to announce that City Hall has fully reopened to the public. While some of our staff have been working here full time during the COVID-19 pandemic and others on a limited basis, access to the public has been limited since March 2020. In fact, the building was closed entirely for a time and then reopened to the public last summer on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now the hours each day are not only longer, but we're fully open to the public five days a week. That means that you can get questions answered, pay bills, and do any other in-person city business between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Individuals are required to wear face coverings when indoors. Disposable face coverings are available as well as hand sanitizer. And no residents are required to show proof of COVID-19 vaccination. To find out more about how we operate and how you can get the city-related information that you need, visit DurhamNC.gov. If you belong to an organization that's interested in hosting a special event or festival, we want to hear from you. Our cultural and public art program is now accepting proposals to support new or existing cultural and arts festivals and special events. Because of the changing needs of our community due to the pandemic, this year we're looking for virtual events as well as those that are in person. If they are in person, they should be in line with state and local COVID related regulations. To qualify, the festival or special event must be hosted by a nonprofit organization or be in partnership with a nonprofit. It must also take place before December 31st, 2022. The request for proposals document, review criteria, proposal form, and a list of required proposal documents can be found at DurhamNC.gov 450. Completed packets will be accepted until 3 p.m. on Monday, August 9th. Help is on the way if you live in one of Durham's affordable housing communities for seniors and are having trouble getting to the store to buy groceries. A new pilot program is making free scheduled shuttles available between five senior living complexes and a nearby grocery store. The shuttles are operating hourly between 10 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. one day a week for each of the communities and the Walmart at Glenview Station. The communities that are being served in the pilot include Forest Hill Heights on Mondays, J.J. Henderson on Tuesdays, Price Steel on Wednesdays, Morning Glory on Thursdays, and Hosiery Mill on Fridays. The shuttles will cater to seniors living in these apartment complexes but they will be open to the general public as well. They will be managed through the Paratransit Go Durham Access Service and will be funded through the Durham Transit Plan. For more information about the service, visit GoDurhamTransit.org slash senior dash shuttle. Our new Community Safety Director is already hard at work. Ryan Smith was appointed to lead the new department by City Manager Wanda Page in early July. The Community Safety Department is responsible for finding new, equitable, and innovative approaches to help keep our community safe and well. In his new role, Smith will lead a team tasked with creating alternative response pilot programs designed to enhance our existing public safety efforts. These programs will find new ways to address issues that don't necessarily need a law enforcement response. Before taking over his new role, Smith served as our innovation team or I-team director, where much of his work focused on criminal justice reform. During the pandemic, he served as the staff lead for the COVID-19 Recovery and Renewal Task Force. More information about the community Safety Department can be found in this video at DurhamNC.gov or on our YouTube channel. Anyone considering a career in public service is invited to apply to join our team of talented professionals. We have more than 70 job openings that include full-time, part-time, and internship positions. There's also a wide range of experience levels, skills, and backgrounds needed. Working with us here at the City offers competitive pay for performance and one of the best benefits packages that you'll find anywhere. We also offer training and professional development opportunities that can lead to career advancement. And you'll have the chance to truly make a difference in the community you serve while working in a supportive workplace. To see general descriptions of the jobs now available where to apply on our website and the many benefits for public employees, visit DurmanC.gov 3774.